So my channel, you know, is about free and open source software. And uh, one of the things that goes along with free and open source software commonly is, you know, copyright laws. And although I think copyrights are very important because if I didn't have a copyright on my software, that means anyone could take it and close it up. The fact that I have a copyright on it allows me to put an open license on it, a free license on it, that prevents people from locking it up. Copyright system in a whole, as a whole though, is, is completely messed up and needs to be revamped. But copyrights, in my opinion, are important. But one thing that I think is just never a good idea, never a good thing, I've never seen one case where it's a good thing, is patents. Patents is basically, I have an idea. And now nobody can do that, even if they do it differently. You know, if you do it different enough, maybe, but they, they are so vague with patents that they're ridiculous. And, and this is a great example. Uh, another example, before I even get to this, I'm going to talk about, you know, you look around, there's patent numbers on everything. About 10 years ago, I bought a cork board for my room, you know, to pin things up. And it had three patent numbers on it. I didn't look up what they were, but the three patent numbers. It was a cork board. It was literally a piece of cork that's glued together with a wooden frame that you stick pins in. And it had three patent numbers on it. But even that compared to this. So what is this? This thing I came in the mail a little while ago. It was one of those scams that uh, car dealerships do. They send around and, oh, if, if your VIN number matches this or whatever, you get a free car, bring it down to see. Uh, you know, normally I throw them away, but what it was is uh, you would pull out a little piece of plastic and this little screen lit up with these numbers on here. Now it's not really a screen, right? It's just a piece of plastic with some transparent, translucent numbers on it and a light behind it, you know, but I, I gave it to my kid. My kid wanted to use it because it was it was cool because it lit up and it did look pretty nice. But I realized on the back it says here. Can you read that? There's a patent number. What it says here is this digital electronic device. I don't know how it's a digital electronic device once you once we get to it looking at it. Uh, is not a toy. And then it says patent number. I'll give you the patent number because you look it up. I looked it up on Google Patents and and it's just ridiculous. It's, it's they've had a patent on this for since uh, 2012. But the patent number is D698867, made in China. So that's what it says on the back. And you think, oh, patent? Is there is there some sort of circuitry going on here in the background? Uh, so I pried it open. So another battery. There are two batteries. There goes the other battery. I just dropped it. And literally, the only thing else in here is an LED light behind the piece of plastic that has a number on it. There's no circuitry or anything other than the, the circuit, the connecting battery. So basically, ah, it just fell apart. Whatever. <laughs> it, it is such a simple device. I, I don't even know what the patent is for. Well, if you go to the patent, it basically says that it's a device that displays a digital information on user's action and the user action is pulling a tab. So basically their patent isn't on an LED, it isn't on the batteries, it isn't hooking a battery to the LEDs, it isn't even displaying the light through the, the plastic. Their patent is on turning it on by pulling a tab out. How is that any different than, than, than a light switch? I mean, it's just ridiculous that this thing has a patent, has had a patent for 10 years now, and will continue to have this patent. I think it's set to expire in 2028. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, patents, patents very usually it's it's 20 years and you can renew them for certain things, certain things you can't. But that's just ridiculous that they would even consider allowing a patent on something like that. It's literally an LED hooked to two batteries with a piece of plastic in between and the patent is you can pull out the tab to connect the battery. That is what the patent is. Look it up. Again, I read the number earlier in the video. Everything's falling apart now. But there's no, no electronics or anything. It was an LED two batteries and a piece of plastic with some numbers on it, and they have a patent on that. That is ridiculous. There are gonna be people out there who will defend stuff like this. You are either a jerk or an idiot. That's what it comes down to. You're a greedy jerk who thinks that maybe you can make millions of dollars by ripping people off with stuff like this, or you just have no clue what you're talking about. Those are the only two options. I'm sorry. If you think that patents like this are acceptable in any facet, it's just ridiculous. So. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Have a great day.